congratulations. Welcome to uh, San Diego Comic Con. But of course, I have to ask the obligatory yeah. standard question. How is your Comic Con this weekend? I loved it. So much fun. Like You meet a lot of your uh, favorite artists. Uh, I love commissions, like, uh, like, like um, art from those people that I love that they do comics. So I had uh, like, like two or three commissions that I had, and I got them already. So for me, that's kind of the highlights always of the, of the Comic Con. And then seeing a lot of uh, panels and uh, educational panels that I love to, to go. Um, yeah, so it's been, it's been a blessing. It's been awesome. Yeah, but, uh, but you're doing a lot more. You're also on a panel this yeah. week, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm full networking. My comic book, uh, The Unearthians, came out this uh, Wednesday. So I've been having a lot of press, a lot of interviews, uh, trying to network with other uh, comic book uh, artists. And I have a panel today, Saturday at 5 p.m. So I'm excited for my first panel at San Diego Comic Con. Wow, that is very exciting. So uh, so we're here to talk about Unearthians, yeah. which is, uh, is this your first uh, comic book show or you've been doing this for a while? It's my first comic book series, yes. Yes, it. Okay, well tell, tell us what inspired you for the Unearthians. So I'm a writer. Myself, a screenplay, I do a lot of indie film, so I have this story on my mind for, for the longest time. And comic book is something that I wanted to tap into it because I love comics since I'm a kid. So I was looking to all my stories and I said, The Unearthing is the story I'm going to do as a, as a comic book um, series. So it was no brain to just jump into it and, and, and start working on it. It's a story that has supernatural superheroish action mysticism a lot of genre together so um for me it was was like yeah no brain job into it uh, have fun writing it as a screen uh, as a script script for comic book that is different from screenplays wow um i mean um, i took a glance at your unearthians uh okay. um comic book and i noticed it was a it was a blend of genre between sort of like an alien sci-fi and mysticism yeah, yeah. Like vampire creatures yeah. and so yeah, yeah. on uh, why did you use this type of blend ah, those are the genre that i love to see myself in movies those are the genre i love to read in comics and i wanted to read about that and i wanted to mix how aliens interact with vampires and what will happen if vampires suck the aliens blood and then going back and forth um, on the 1400 with dracula all that um, mysticism all that folklore yes. i always wanted to tap into that and how that's going to convey now in the future with aliens because the story after the 12 each is going to go i have all that story lined up how that's going to convey and the how that's gonna mix aliens with the, the vampire uh, genre. Wow. Yeah. Tell tell us about the two characters. I believe uh, one of them is named Carter and the other one is Ma Mateo. Mateo. Yes. yes. Um, Mateo is a Latino character, outgoing, out you know, outgoing, uh, very extroverted, a free spirit if you wanna uh, call it like that. And Carter is more reserved. Uh, he wants to do the right thing and uh, he's the one that kind of controlled Mateo not to do crazy stuff. So I wanted to play with those characters and those two personalities. Uh, they grew up together, they were uh, in an orphanage, uh, so they're, they're, they're like brothers and they've been together since the 1920s where the story starts all the way to the present time. Uh, and I don't want to say too much how they become vampires, but basically, yeah. Uh, their whole life, uh, they knew each other, and they always uh, stick together. So you, so you are doing a uh, twelve comic book arc um, story yeah. um, per se. Could you? Is this already all uh, kind of scripted and done for yourself? Yeah, we we finish we finish all the twelve series. We finish the art. We finish the the writing. Everything is done. I'm just uh, lined up for the what's going to happen after. But because the first issue just came out this week I just want to see how it does it's gonna be a monthly uh, monthly issue so it's gonna I mean the 12 issues is gonna come next year so yeah and the whole arc every little issue has its own little arc but then the 12 issues is a full arc of that story oh well, that's true so since it since it is about vampires and aliens mm -hmm. where where do us humans fit <laughs> even though the story is a uh, 
it's a sci-fi on vampires and aliens. It's a very humane one of the stories because the story, the background of Mateo and Carter, um, yes, they're vampires, spoiler alert, but um, they're very human. They grow up with humans. So in the whole 12 issues, we're going to see the fight between Mateo and Carter to do the right thing to save the humans. And there's, it's like the monsters become the heroes of the story in a humane, warm uh, way. I want to put it that way. So, yeah, they're, they're vampires, but they're more humans than humans with the actions and the decisions they take. Wow, that, that is great. Now, since, uh, since you are from a screenplay uh, type of a background, why did you want to delve into like the comic book arena? I mean, this, this is something entirely different. I know, it's a dream come true. I love comics since I'm a kid. I'm a huge Superman fan, so I love those comics and you know, when you grow up loving something so much, being part of it makes it more special. And I wanted to be part of it. I wanted to be part of the comic book uh, community. And the storytelling through that medium of, of, of uh, art and pictures, it's, it's priceless. And I wanted to be part of it. Yeah. So t tell me, how did, how, what was the process of getting into this? You have to remember, we're here at a convention, and I, I think there's hundreds and thousands of people who would love to follow your similar path. Yeah. Was, it an e was it easy? No, 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 it was so hard. Uh, <laughs> it, I mean, it, it, it's such a hard medium. I think everything, everything on the entertainment business is so hard. I first, the first thing that I did was uh, study, research, how to write a, a, a comic book script format. It's totally different as a screenplay. It's kind of the same in regards of the art that you need to have the plots and you need to have the how the story begins, the climax, the ending, you know, the, the turning points in between. But the format is totally different and the team is different. You work with artists and, and, and colorists and the, the letter. Um, so my first thing was a lot of conventions like this, going to a lot of workshops, mm -hmm. a lot of workshops. So I learned writing actually in here in Comic Con. Oh really? So, yeah. And then in some in, in the Star Wars convention, the celebration they do, they do a, like educational panels as well. And then in LA, I met with some comic book writers and helped me out to to advise. Uh, who who are, who are some of the most notable uh, mentors you you? I will say right now the one that helped me out for this panel. His name is Ryan Grant. I don't know if you know him. He writes for uh, Action Lab. He wrote Aberrant, it's a new comic, and Banjax. Mm -hmm. He's a screenplay um, writer as well. He's been very successful with his first two comics. Uh, Ryan Grant, check it out. He's, uh, he's very clever. I love the way he writes and he puts everything through. So I think he's been my main main mentor, actually. Wow. Yeah. You, you, have, you ever had any thoughts of like trying to create a teleplay off of a, an Earthian set? Yes. After all, you, 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 you have been in that side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I love IPs, like intellectual properties. So, and I'm, I'm a, I think I'm a businessman. <laughs> 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 so, so I'm trying to get these properties and having in different mediums. Uh, the comic book. Um, part of it, I want the Unearthians to be a, to be a TV series. I already wrote the screenplay for it for a film. So, it's so what I love about the different mediums, even if they're different, but you can you can tell the story, the same story in a different way with the film, with the scores and music and visual effects. But then, comic book has that intimacy, but it's also a visual uh, medium that your imagination needs to to play a big part of it. So. Both stories of same characters in different mediums, I think, is priceless and, and beautiful. And nowadays, I mean, you're seeing Netflix is making a lot of comic book stories. Uh, um, Stranger Things, they make it as a comic book now. Yeah, absolutely. Series. Yeah. And uh, I forgot how many Sandman they're gonna make it as a TV series. Uh, they just did one. I forgot the name. The other, the other day, like it's it's a huge it's a huge momentum now for comic book stories to become a TV series or film. So you're you're very hopeful that 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 would be the that path that 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 would be uh, an awesome path, and I'm I'm actually I'm, I'm gonna push it for it. Oh wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. that'll be that'll be that'll be great. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, Omar, could, could, you, could you tell us a little bit of background about yourself, like uh, what ethnicity, what, how, how you got, um, where you're from, and all this kind of stuff? Yeah, my name, uh, my, my, yeah, my name is Omar Mora. I'm, just <laughs> 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 I'm from Puerto Rico. 
I grew up in Puerto Rico. Um, I, I'm a medical doctor. Um, I studied medical doctor. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah, I'm a medical <laughs> doctor. I study medicine, pre med in Puerto Rico, medicine in Mexico, and then my residency specialty in New York City. That's when I did acting classes for two years in a conservatory there. Then moved to LA in the last eleven years. So yeah. Wow. That. That is like career change to career change to career change. You know, some people, you know, some people say you need to focus on one thing to be the best of it. But I think we have only one life, and uh, if you have few dreams, like why not try to pursue them? So yeah, I love to pursue whatever I feel in my heart to do. So. You know what? I I can't imagine though your you have, where your life is ending up, and especially this afternoon, you're going to be <laughs> ending up in. In front of hundreds of uh, fans, introducing your yeah. your first comic book series yeah. that 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 is actually going to be very exciting. But uh, but before I let you go, okay. I know you have other ideas in your head yeah. uh, for other things for Unearthians. Can you kind of tell, give us a hint about those things? Um, after these first twelve issues, I want to get Mateo Carter and the team because at the end of that. 12 issues arc is a team like Suicide Squad or um, Guardians of the Galaxy. The main team is Mateo. This is the first time I mentioned this actually. I'm impressed. Mateo Carter, Ekraptor, Naurax, Flex, Alicia, Ames. That's the uh -huh. full team of the Unearthians. And after these 12 issues, I want them to get up to space. Uh, and we're going to track where vampires come from. And aliens, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, excellent. Hey, congratulations. Thank hey, you, thank, thank you. you for uh, speaking with us about your comic book series on the Earthians. And where, 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 can, where can we find it? So, Instagram at Mora himself, uh, Twitter at Omar Mora, no, uh, Omar Actor, and uh, Facebook at Omar Actor. Omar Mora Actor. My God, I'm so it's the whole comic book. Is too <laughs> and we could also find your comic books at comic book bookshops everywhere, right? Well, right now in LA locally. Okay. But you can go to the online store and order it, and we mail it to you. TheOnearthiansComics.com. Very easy. You can do PayPal, credit card, whatever, and we'll mail it to you the first issue. Excellent. Hey, thank you very much for um, listening to us, and this is uh, Omar once again. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the opportunity because people like you put people like us out there. That's right. All right. Thank you. <laughs>